Jesus. We get into it and it's just pure breathing. Where are we? Oh, we had the... Uh, we just had the little dream sequence, I guess you would call it. Eat my camera. Mary's diary. And a dictionary. That's locked. There's someone behind it. Yeah, I could hear the fucking breathing. Uh, fuck. Can I break into it? Is that a baseball? No, it's not. So that was just a baseball. Bat. I was gonna say, like, why are you not carrying that? I'm sure you could. Oh, what's that? Oh uh, no! Oh, hello. More reading. <laughs> One day, a girl came into the camp with a stuffed hair, 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 toy. She went everywhere with him, even slept with him. The guys began to mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the, di the director, oh, sorry, the dictator, <laughs> the, even the dictator <laughs> asked to hide the hair in the closet. Why? So that there would be no disagreements among peers. Okay, I should have just kept reading instead of fucking asking questions. They go listen to her and put the hair in the locker. And in the coming night, the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. Beautiful poem. Beautiful, lovely writing. I see nothing wrong with that. In the slightest. Nothing wrong. Oh, hello. You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. There are empty pages of Mary's diary. You could use them to answer. I hear him standing outside. Okay, sure, just do that. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. That is... Really neat handwriting, I must say. Oh, yeah. Right there. Grab it. Come on. Yep. There you go. Fuck. It's gonna happen again. Oh, hi. <gasps> Is this the hair bear? What's up? Oh wait, the bunny strangled everyone at night. Fuck, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna die. I foresee it. Oh, motherfucker, I knew it's a distraction. No! Oh, fuck you. Should try writing the letter again. Yeah, go for it. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. You can't help them. Just leave, my guy. What is wrong with you? He's so persistent. He's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Watch that paper get pushed back. Oh, never mind. She took it. He took it. They took it. The, an investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of... You're not prisoner camp. Oh, sorry. Pioneer camp. <laughs> it was a prisoner camp, let's be honest. Uh, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership and director of Maria. Oh, fuck yourself, I'm not. Anatol, Anatolievna, Anatolievna. What a fucking surname that is. The suspect, the suspect in this case is a child living in the camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in the locker. Oh, you shoved the dead bodies in the lockers? Okay, wow, that's grim. What happened to him and where he is, is not known. He's, a, he's out on a roll. He's, he's killing other people in other camps. He's freeing the camps. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Oh, fuck yourself. Okay. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Stop spinning the knob. Stop doing it. Stop! <sighs> Fuck. Here, take this one. 
what's good about the cutscenes is I know I'm not getting spooked. Probably. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I hate it. How are you so calm? How is my guy here? Standing here, not wanting to leave. A fucking idiot boarded up the front door as well. He can't leave. Not quickly, at least. Never thought I'd be speaking with a ghost. Yes, you gotta communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people come here just to break our things. But my friends help me drive them away. Drive away strangers. Same thing. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Uh, don't knock. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Oh, I hate this. Why am I talking with a ghost? Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. It went off fully quiet. Are the spirits of this place. Those who were tortured here, they remind, remind? remained locked up here. The day and the evening after lights out, Someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director, the dictator, <laughs> spoke. He didn't find me. I think that's because of this. He poisoned all of the residents and the director. Lovely. How did you not get poisoned? Good sir. I'm fine. Come on. Scared of a ghost. What is this nonsense? All this was planned by the director of the camp. Why are you talking? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she to? What, what kind of person was she talking to? How would a child know this? I'm glad I didn't look to my left. I'm not going to look. Stop tapping on the window. We're fine. See? Ghosts don't exist. Only literal assholes exist that run across the hallway to scare me. And then proceed to disappear. Oh, fuck me. More reading. That's all. I mean, I expected it, but that's a lot. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old, old, old hospital. Near the camp. They agree that they would do their work at night. What fucking work? Oh, to gas them, to kill them. <laughs> then I realized it was it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I, I thought the man and his asso ass assistants, I was gonna say associates, same thing. <laughs> had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. I'm sorry, how did you survive in the ventilations? Surely you died, my guy. Oh, he's the one that dragged that dead fucking corpse and was n nobbing on it earlier. That building, abandoned. Can I get there? I was just expecting a letter. You're not gonna be able to, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. He's dead. He survived. We're in an abandoned hospital now, baby. Surely not gonna be scary at all. Night three. Why the fuck did we get there at night? Why? It's a hospital. Do you know how many motherfuckers die in a hospital? Yoko said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around, baby. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my. Jesus. Proof here of... I need my video camera and dictionary. Okay. That didn't scare me. Did it scare you guys? <laughs> didn't scare me. Up, oh, chained up.
Talk about fucking creepy, eh? I hate it. It's worse than the fucking prison camp. That's my sign to leave. I guess not. I get. I guess not. I hate it. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I'd rather you don't do that. I just want to read. Leave me alone. Thank you. 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents, an orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans, worked under the leadership of the military. Bro. You're basically dead. Just at, at this point, admit it, you're dead. There's nothing you can do. How did you run off in that direction? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You could fuck yourself on oh, that one, buddy. All right, more newspapers. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidneys. I thought the sentence is gonna continue, my bad. <laughs> the director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became abandoned. Oh shit, my bad. I'm assuming- Oh! The <laughs> oh. <sighs> that one hurt. Oh, that's the fucking worst jump scare yet. <clears throat> what I was trying to say is I'm assuming all of this has changed now. Place won't me, won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Uh, that's called death. Did I just get rubbed by a fucking ghost? Excuse me. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I thought the ghost just fucking straight up rubbed me, dude. I see nothing wrong with this. Uh, why is there landmines in a hospital? I don't actually think they're landmines, but they, they look fairly similar. They do, don't they? What is this? I don't like that. I don't like that one, but I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help, but I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affair. Affairs. Affairs. I fear. <laughs> Don't you knock. Don't you dare. He's going to die. He had a chance. Just don't go there. He who went there? Mm. <sighs> he went there, he did. Yep. He most certainly fucking went there.
No. 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 I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Ven... That thing. <laughs> I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Why would you think the ghost doesn't want you to leave? I think the ghost just wants to kill you, my guy. That's all it is. The battery of the angle grinder ran out. That's a terrible battery, by the way. I don't like this. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices and if I'm alone, I thought I saw a woman. More like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check it if it's, I don't want to check if it's true, sorry. Or maybe it's just my imagination which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. <laughs> that will do it, my friend. That will do it. <laughs> On the cabinet, wait. Oh, I thought I just heard a fucking footstep. On the cabinet, wait. On the cabinet, weigh some products made of feathers and cobweb. On the cabinet, weigh some products. That's a bad translation. That's a terrible translation. I've never seen, I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things in there. Okay, I'll have another glass <laughs> and go to bed. <laughs> Just take another shot, buddy, you'll be fine. I've already read that. Oh. I don't like it. I fucking hate it. I'm gonna be honest, I hate it. I absolutely despise it. I hate it more than anything in this world. Hold! <sighs> Fuck me. Talk about a bitch, dude. Oh my Jeebus. Why are you going through with this? This guy's a fucking maniac. He's suicidal, I'm telling you. He must be. There's- oh fuck. There's no other explanation for what he's doing. God, I'm so fucking jumpy in this area. I hate it. It's so bad. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Is that not a sign to fucking just jump out the window? I am fucking... <sighs> close the door. Close it, don't open the door. Just close it, leave me inside here. A year later, after the events of 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but the budget cuts, it stopped working again. But with the budget cuts, it stopped working again. Oh. What a bitch. Why are you doing this? Yeah, sure, why not? How had her body not decomposed? Uh, good question. You wanna... They all the children. They're all the children. She disappeared. She's gone. I could fucking guarantee you. I turn around, the bitch is gone. Alright. Oh, that's the safe. Oh, that's the bitch from that little dream. You know the dream sequence we had? That's her. She's dead. 
here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergeyevich, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the then what was the case? Quase. What was the question? Question. And who was she talking with when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently, she could she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Yeah, poor woman. That's about a fucking kill, you my guy. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Fuck, I should have read it like that in the first place. How would she return? She has returned. What do you think has been trying to fucking kill you this whole time? It's a death certificate. I don't want to look over there. I'm going to be honest. Yep. What did I tell you? You're dead, bud. You're dead. Should have seen this one coming, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be back. That's a very blunt and shitty knife. Look at look how blunt that thing is, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you gonna kill with that? You can't even, you can't even do anything with this thing. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, well, about that. Hi, you're back. About that, buddy. I don't think she's gonna let you. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Everything. Okay, it's locked. That's fine. Leave your shit, just leave. <gasps> Did I make it out? Three weeks later. <sighs> I did not like that spook. Return to the camp. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, this camp ain't even that scary anymore. Oh, what the fuck? So boarded up again. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you didn't do. I've taken care of everything. I don't tell anyone that you live here and with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it's rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve a mystery of the mystery of 58 and help Yako find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. Go into another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there, I'll have an unusual case. I'll tell you about it later. I fucking love this game. It's so good. That last scare was a bit cheap. But I was expecting something then. It still got me for fuck's sake. Do I do I click? Does it just go on? I click. Amika Games. I loved it. That was so good. 
Oh, I'm assuming that's the next game. That they're teasing here. That was so good. I loved it. I don't know how long the video is going to be. Uh, I'm not going to split it up into two. I might. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I loved it. It was good. There were a couple cheap spooks. Like that very last one felt cheap. It was like. Like I knew it's. I knew it's going to be there. But all the other ones in the hospital. Like I knew they're going to be there. Like I was expecting a, a spook. But I didn't know where. And uh, there was a spook that. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Did you see that motherfucker? I caught him right at the end. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll slow it down for you. Um, but no, it was good. I loved it. I, I love that we went from two different locations. Uh, it never felt rep. Well, okay, certain sections felt repetitive, like the um, the writing section. I didn't like. like. You're walking to the door to the table. It's like just grab the book, write what you need. You know, I, I wouldn't have to keep walking, but. I guess you'd miss out on a couple scares, which it did get me in a couple of them. But it, no, it was a fantastic game. It did start off slow. A few days later. Uh-oh. It did start off slow. Like the very first video I... 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 I uh, oh, shit. From day to day. Is it not over yet? Battery is dead. I guess we continue, boys. <laughs> I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that the woman from the shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. This house is a pendulum for people like her. What if the spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I will be re I will be released now. We need to try and get out and warn the guy. Th warn fuck my life. <laughs> we need to try and get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Oh, the guy that bought this place? Shit, I get <laughs> more scares, baby. Was I chained up? <clears throat> I saw it coming. As soon as I was going down the stairs, the aesthetic. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'll stand in the corner now. I'll go into timeout. You're fine. They just made it more scary by not having her jump out at me. Hi. To be continued. Uh, as I was saying, <laughs> but you know, I, I I really enjoy this game. I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Uh, I will have a look at his other games. Well, they are other games. It's, it's a team after all. Uh, see if maybe there's um there's some other ones we can play. Uh, next video uh, might be a War Thunder video, but I don't know. If you enjoyed it, great. Glad you might as well like and sub, right? It's free and you'd be pretty cool for doing so. Uh, if you didn't, too bad, but you can still sub. You might like the next video, you never know. But yeah, see ya.